Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry this angle is crazy. And again, sorry for pajamas, crazy, everything. But we evacuated yesterday for, um, we had a mandatory evacuation. And we left yesterday to get away from this hurricane and, you know, just to be safe. We evacuate every year if they tell us to. And we joke because this is like the time we get many vacations is when we evacuate for a hurricane. We've done it three times now for evacuations in four and a half years of living in Florida. Now, where we live, um, we've been in that general area since 09 and we were in Tropical Storm Barrel, which was a little crazy on base housing, but nothing major. We've evacuated for Irma, Matthew, and now Dor Dorian. So yeah, it's a little hectic, especially when you have pets and kids. Um, I was able, Sunday night, I we were already packed and ready to go. It was just finding a hotel last minute, and I was very stressed because, you know, a lot of people that aren't military, they can just pack their stuff and leave and be ahead of it and be gone. And hotels, you know, they're gone fast, especially the cheap, affordable ones. So I was very stressing out over that. Um, not that we weren't going to leave, but finding a place that was affordable, but also pet friendly. And a lot of people, they wave, you know, if they're not pet friendly, they wave it in a hurricane because there's thousands of people, you know, coming from Florida and other states to get away from this storm. So luckily I found this, what I call a hidden gem in Alabama. And it was 89 a night. And I'll show you the room, it's very nice. We have three dogs with us and three kids. And it sleeps six, so I was very excited. We brought our air mattress just in case because we have kids that don't like sharing a bed. So yeah, my body is like done. Um, I guess because I had my arm like this on the window in my van that I must have pinched a nerve, but it hurts really bad anytime I try to bend that arm. It, like, it's like sciatic pain, just like instant pain down my arm. So I have to be careful how I bend it. But pretty much just taking it easy. My husband took our boys up to the pool. My daughter is actually getting out of the shower now. She's going through that time of the month, so she can't really enjoy the pool. But yeah, we're here three nights, and we are supposed to head back Thursday. But depending on what the storm does, and if we get a message from my husband's command, we will stay an extra day if we have to. Um, the place that we're at, uh, we it was about for three nights, like 2, 2.30 total. Not too bad, but um, Navy, because we're military, we get reimbursed for evacuations. Usually we have a travel card they give us, so we can not worry about food, gas, and the hotel, but we didn't get ours in time, so we had to call a mortgage company and be like, hey, there's a hurricane coming, we're going to be needing to evacuate. They waived our mortgage for that month. So that was how we were able to even afford to do any of this. It's very crazy and stressful time, but we always joke like that's the only time we get many vacations is when hurricane season comes and we get to evacuate and we have little vacays. And when we do these evacuations, we don't go out in town and go around and do a bunch of stuff because we never have the money to, but we always get a place that has a pool so the kids can swim. We go out, we get food, and like we look around and stuff, and we do little things that are cheap and affordable. So, yeah, we haven't really done much. Yesterday we got in in the evening, so we kind of just picked up food, unpacked, and relaxed. Today, I don't want to do absolutely anything. I just want to chill. So, I will turn the camera around so you guys can see how cute this room is. And like I said, 89 a night very affordable found it on Expedia literally last minute and I was totally shocked that this place was as cheap as it was so this is the little living area 
my daughter, we brought this air mattress. She's sleeping there. Then there's this big couch and my youngest is sleeping there. I love these lamps because they have outlets around them. So it's very good to have them charge all their stuff. The kitchen's very cute, little eating area, which fits all three of the kids perfectly. There's a stove, microwave, dishwasher, and a full-size fridge, which we brought, as you can see, tons of snacks and tons of food. Well, not tons, but we wanted to bring a lot of food for the fridge. And then turning around, we have the bedroom. And like I said, this is all open. They're full-size beds. My oldest boy sleeps there. Me and the husband is right there. Dogs pretty much just lay wherever. Um, and yeah, we have our own TV. I love these dressers, these little compartments. So that's pretty much it. The messy mess, but here is part of the bathroom. And then we have this whole sink area. So very cute. And when I turn around, there's the beds. So yeah, that's pretty much um, the little hotel we're at. It's just going to be a very relaxing few days. Not really. I'm going to be very stressed until the storm is done. And I know everyone where we live is okay. And until we get home, we won't really know if there's any damage done to the area. So it is very stressful in that situation. I know a lot of people right now have gotten it way worse than what we're going to probably get but it's a hurricane and hurricanes are unpredictable they could be stable and deteriorate or they can get very powerful at the last minute and turn and do significant damage so it is very nerve-wracking and it is very stressful and because I don't handle stress well it is not good for me um, anyone knows when you're dealing with chronic illness, stress is a number one trigger for flare-ups and other things to happen to your body that isn't good. So that is why I am taking it very easy today, um, not doing anything. We're just sticking around the hotel. We might go out and get some food later. I think my husband's probably just going to bring it back just so we can relax. The kids can go to the pool couple times during the day if they want um, of course not by themselves but you know we have that option because the pool is right by us where we're staying so that's good we always pick a place that has a pool where we go so they have something to do and luckily this hotel room we're at has two TVs so me and my husband can relax on the bed and watch our shows and the kids can be in the living room and we brought their game stuff so they can also play games and keep themselves busy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really more to update. It's just checking in. I know I have not posted my Orlando video of my Backstreet Boys experience from last weekend, but did not anticipate how crazy my life is going to be the next week from that weird. Last weekend I was in Orlando having fun with my sister and this weekend I'm in Alabama evacuating for a hurricane. So that just shows you how quickly your life can change in a short amount of time. So I promise you when I get home after this storm I will have this video out. I don't have all the footage with me on my phone. Um, it's on our laptop and we did bring it but I don't have what I need to edit the videos from it, so I won't be able to do that and get that video out until we're home. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will update you when I can. I do plan on doing clips here and there on any outings we do, or on the way home, and showing you guys any damage when we go on our way home if we see any. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.
here it is. We are here. Room and a full kitchen. Okay guys, so that's it with this video. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.